under the syllabus is LaTeX, I've added it as a zip file. We'll need the zip files for share LaTeX. So we download the syllabus as a zip file. Now we're going to download resume template as a zip file. It's called resume sources.zip. Remember, if you click on the show all downloads and then show in folder, then you can actually see your two downloads in the folder that you saved it to, in this case, the My Downloads folder. Now, let's close this window and let's go to Content and we're going to open the Share LaTeX file. There, it's replaced the script tech. It's now Share LaTeX. If you haven't created an account, you'll need to do so before anything else. But you can see, you just register with that information. It may not have shown up, in which case you may need to enable the pop-up blocker or hit the control key when you click on that so that it will pop up. Uh, alternately, you could just go directly to the Share LaTeX, which is sharelatech.com, as you can see up there in the left corner. So let's go ahead and log in. So I put in my email address and my password and log in. And notice that I have nothing here, so I'm going to start a new project from a zip file. Remember, we did the zip files. So we select and choose syllabus for 2090. Very important, you need to go to root document in the settings and click on the file that's going to be the main file for the project. You can delete the project also in the settings. So now we have the Share LaTeX uh, editor editing syllabus for 2090. Let's make an error so you'll see what an error looks like. So I took the B out of text to bold font and I'm now going to recompile and you'll see I get an error in the PDF output the error simply means it didn't bold the word term the editor has the little red X saying that I don't understand this command and the log file says on line 14 there's a command that I don't understand and of course that's because we took the B out of text to BF so now let's recompile uh, well, let's fix the error and recompile. And there's the log again. Uh, so we recompile, everything's fixed. Notice we still have an error. Now, the key here is to remember that the goal is not to produce error free compiles, but in reality, what we really want to do is even though there may still be some small errors after you've compiled your LaTeX document a lot of times there are things like uh, box out of bounds and things like that the important thing is that the document be correct and one thing you need to realize is that even if you compile a document and you get no errors there still may be errors in the final result so in the PDF itself because the compiler doesn't check on things like grammar and spelling and things like that you have to ask yourself did I check my spelling my grammar uh, are my equations actually correct are my equations too big to be put in line so for instance you couldn't put a 4x4 matrix in line in a LaTeX document because it would create such a distortion in the line spacing. So instead what you have to do is you have to fix it by changing to a display mode which is what we saw was happens with the double dollar signs. So just because you have no errors in the compiler doesn't mean you have no errors overall. Now let's get the resume template. Notice I click on projects on the menu bar I'm going to select resume sources once again it loads once again I very important I choose the root document in this case it's going to be red.tech 
the resume.cls is actually the class file that defines what kind of document I have. 